Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be configuring and verifying syslog and trivial FTP services on a Cisco router as well as a Cisco switch. The Cisco switch in this lab environment is a 2950 24 port, and the router is uh, the virtual router running here in GNS3, say 3640, and it's uh, I believe it's running. It's got uh, one of the advanced security features on it, um, so it can handle anything that we're gonna do. It's the same image that I'm running in the IPsec GRE and VPN tunnels, so it has quite a few capabilities. We won't be using uh, nearly, well, really anything past the syslog and TFTP feature. So to get started here, we have my laptop, which has two network cards configured, one with the IP address of 192.168.1.100, and a second network card, which is running from the switch, the, my actual switch, into the computer, and then I have that network card bound to this uh, cloud interface which is then connected to the router. So we should have complete uh, reachability from my laptop to the router here through this interface. My laptop, which is running this IP, this is going to be the syslog and TFTP server. So that's where we'll be running the server itself and uh, sending the logs and actually backing up one of the iOS's uh, for the switch here. The TFTP can be used for several different things. It's good for backing up files uh, like configurations, iOS images, as well as uh, flashing phones when you're doing voice running Cisco phones. Uh, that's something that we'll get into later in one of the voice series. Uh, but there, there's a lot that you can do with it. We also have syslog here it can be used for basic logging uh, commands and it's really good for maintenance, uh, auditing, accounting, troubleshooting to just send all those messages off to a, a, a server that could be off-site even rather than having all that sent to the device itself having it stored on the router or switch I can send it to a server and then have those logs just you know reach any size that they need to without having to bog down and waste memory on the switch or the router. Uh, a couple things we'll talk about here are syslog, how to present an origin ID to uh, you know s allow it so we can differentiate between which devices are sending which uh, messages. In this particular case the switch does not have that capability but we can demonstrate how to set it up on the router and since there's only two devices here there's not gonna be too many messages but we will at least be able to see how it looks before and after configuring that origin ID we will also from the switch back up the iOS image since this is GNS3 there is no image stored in the flash on the router so we can't actually back up uh, that image but we will show how to send it from the switch the router is currently not configured, so the reachability that we have here is to the